Good morning guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kale Jukic. If this is the first time you are seeing me, if you're not, welcome back to the cruise vlogs. recap i am currently on the norwegian prima we are at our fifth port stop i had to think about that for a second because if you've been watching the previous videos you know there was a little bit of a disruption earlier in the week but today we are in ochos rios jamaica i'm actually really excited about this port because i have never been to jamaica in my life i've been a fair share of places but jamaica is not one of them so this is a first for me so i'm excited to get off the boat and see what we can do and what is around this morning alan and i went for breakfast with his parents and before that we actually headed upstairs to deck 18 to see you know the view of Ochos Rios and it is stunning. I was really nervous because last night the weather was saying that it was going to be raining here all day and it did rain this morning but the sun is out now. We even saw a rainbow and let me tell you it is humid. We were outside for maybe five minutes and it definitely feels like this is going to be probably the hottest place we have been to or are going to thus far. So I put my bathing suit on and I put my sunscreen. Do not forget to put your sunscreen on guys. It is very important. I'm just waiting for my husband Alan right now he is just using the washroom cleaning up we are all changed and packed and ready to get off the boat my husband actually has been here before on another cruise a long long time ago and he did Dunn's Falls or I think that's what it's called and we were thinking about possibly doing it because I've never done it but we're gonna just walk off the port and see what they can offer because I'm not gonna lie Norwegian's shore excursions are a tiny bit expensive and in my opinion you can just go off and get the same thing and it's a lot cheaper we did get here at 9 a.m. and we do have to be back on the boat for 4 30 because we are leaving at 5 o'clock sharp honestly this trip we haven't had any issues at least I don't think or have noticed with like stragglers and people getting on the boat last minute so everybody has been doing a good job of that but if you guys are ready let's go check out Ochos Rios Jamaica. Exiting this port was different than all of the others. I'm not sure if it was a port thing or simply just something the Prima was doing differently which was those face cameras you saw in that first clip. We didn't have to show our sale cards we just had to look into that camera and would do a face recognition based on our photo that is attached to our profile and sale card. Anyways, this port was one of the longest to walk. It took about five to 10 minutes to get to the main road, but it was beyond beautiful. As you can see, the water was blue, the sun was out, the sky was bright. And as we got closer, there was a lot of flowers and plants. As you continue walking, you will see this building and that means you are getting closer to walking out. Mainly here, there's a little information desk if you have any questions before going out to the main road. As well, they had this big sign which is nice for photos because you can see the boat directly behind it. Once you finally get out of this little port terminal, you're going to enter a little gated marketplace with some little shops ran by local people, you know, a place to get coconuts, braid your hair, buy water shoes. There was even a little tent with a DJ playing music. Once you get out of this gated marketplace, you are considered to be on the main land slash main road where you can go off and do whatever it is you wish. There is a few restaurants here where you can get fresh jerk chicken, oxtail and stew, or even just stop somewhere to have a nice cold drink. There is also signs pointing you into the direction of Ochos Rios Bay Beach. We continued walking to see what else there was and we ended up meeting a tour guide named Byron who took us around for the day. Byron, you want to be on my YouTube video? This is Byron, he's taking yeah. us on a tour. Time. Smoke some weed and we burn it all night. Drink the rum and drink the red stripe. Ready, we ready, figure, put up a fight. All away. We are one. Down in Jamaica, we are real champion. I just saw Usain Bolt and Shelly and come from. Fastest man in the world, Rasta man. Hey. Just listen to Bob Molly, how him sing good song. Right, you know, a Byron, he must sing. A long time they want to hear me on the rhythm and me say, Riggy ding ding, Riggy ding ding. Ready for go lunch and go do me some. Blah, blah. Hey. Woo! <laughs> I got a cab with big music. 
That's Good. It. That's yeah. what we want. So we're gonna wrap down to the lake. We to the lake. <laughs> so we got into Byron's van and we took off. He offers a whole bunch of things where he can take you to sightsee. It could be a full day's worth or just a few hours. It's totally up to you. We told him we had about two to two and a half hours we wanted to spend. He charged us $30 a person for the drive both ways. He had a little pamphlet that showed us the main tourist attractions, the falls, photo stops, and all of that. He highly recommended Blue Hole, which is a waterfall with springs where you can go swimming, hike, and he actually said that it is more beautiful than Dunn's River. So we trusted him on that and decided that is where we wanted to go. It was about a 20 to 25 minute drive from the poor, but was it ever worth it? Byron was a time in the car. He was singing and jamming most of the time, but he also pointed out some areas on our drive and answered any questions we had. Finally, we made it to Blue Hole. You do have to pay to get in. This is not included in the fee that we paid Byron. Not all the places he offers you, you have to pay though. Some are free. So this is also something to consider and make sure you ask him or anyone else you decide to take a taxi from. So Blue Hole was $20 a person to get in. You get a little wristband and every group gets their own guide, which is a huge pro for doing this. In comparison, Dunn's River is a huge tourist place, so not only is it overcrowded, but you don't get a personal guide for such a small group of people. Usually it's one guide for a very much larger group, so this is a huge pro for coming to the Blue Hole versus Dunn's River. You can go swimming here in these falls as well. You will need water shoes and a life jacket. We were not really prepared or dressed enough to swim, so we all just put our feet in and the water was so cold yet refreshing, which was freaking much needed because y'all, it was hot outside. Definitely the hottest day and place we've been to so far on this cruise. Our guide said it's actually the cold season here in January, which we could not believe because it was truly 30 degrees and so, so humid. It is literally so hot and it doesn't help that we're going up and down these stairs. We're trying to get to the second area where we can take some photos. So the first area I showed you, I probably already mentioned this, but we could go swimming there, but we didn't bring water shoes and some of the boys don't have swimwear and we didn't bring towels and that kind of stuff. But we did put our feet in and it is so refreshing. It's not too cold, it's just, just refreshing, honestly. So highly recommend. As you can tell, I am literally out of breath. there I would say and then we started to head back to the port to meet up with Alan's parents as they were shopping it was time to get back on the boat so we walked back from the main road where we saw a margaritaville so if that's something you're interested in doing it's not too far outside of that gated marketplace here you can see there's a few more shops where my brother-in-law ended up buying a bucket hat and then we proceeded to gate one to get back inside. They had a little show going on of some dancers and then we walked into the main building there to briefly go through some security before getting back on the boat. To note, we actually did not have to do this at any other port so I'm not sure why we had to do it here but of course we complied. That is pretty much our day in Ocho Rios, Jamaica. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave a comment or even send me a DM on Instagram. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the other Norwegian cruise vlogs and we'll catch you in the next one.